Hello, welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Today we're doing a deck called Haste Ninjas. It's a red-black deck based around getting all these ninjas into play. You got a ninjutsu of two or three on most of them. And then you also have this one uh, I'm doing a one of. Uh, and a lot of hasty evasive creatures. Uh, Reinforced Runner is not hasty, or uh, not evasive, rather, but he is good at getting early damage in, and we're just trying to bash face as fast as possible. Uh, two lightning strikes, three blessed bolts. Uh, the blessed bolts are uh, a nod towards a lot of the the graveyard based, uh, you know, getting stuff back from the graveyard and a lot of the black decks. Um, so, just want to be able to get rid of them forever. And then Graph Reaver is a good removal for Planeswalkers, and you can repeat it if you get through with him. And then Cemetery Gatekeeper has been amazing, so let's see how fast we can win. Alright, let's see how fast ninjas can get it done. This is a little bit of a slow hand, because we're not going to get that first turn reinforced Ronin, but we're not going to be able to ninjutsu it anyway. So... We'll play out our silencer and hope for the best. Bank Buster. Oh, you are going to regret that. I am going to make you discard your hand. Well, exile your hand. Alright. Remove the counter. Let's see what you've got. Uh, those are way down the line. Let's get rid of your early game stuff. And keep smashing your face. Draw a card. Nice. Land is good. Uh, we are going to play Reinforce Ronin. So we can hastily beat in. swing and we are going to get the ambusher to pull back biting palm ninja so we can actually reuse the ninja to discard again later even though that means that Ronin comes back and we don't have two guys out there uh, we get to see more of their hand this way and unless they play two creatures then we get to just smash in and smash in Bank Buster desperately drawing. Alright, so reinforce Ronin. Get in there. Swing out. Biting Palm Ninja. Bring back the reinforce Ronin. Let's see what you got in your hand now. Anything small. Oh, Giada. Well, now they have four lands. So they could technically play the Sigardian Savior. Um, you have Flying Vigilance. I feel like we still want to get rid of Giada, because this will force them to tap out, whereas they might draw like another one or two drop, and they could play multiple things. Here they have to play their five drop. They can block two guys, and we can uh, silence it. Ooh, an Emperor. I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, okay, it might it might be enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that even while attacking their face. So reinforce Ronin is going to come down. And we are going to all attack, hit you. We're going to use the silencer bring back reinforced Ronin and that's gonna hit you we'll discard our Prowler and that's gonna destroy Wandering Emperor and then we can make sure that they can't play another Wandering Emperor by playing a Cemetery Gatekeeper and getting rid of Wandering Emperor or we can get from our own graveyard get rid of the Prowler and now they can't play any creatures you play a creature, you go to one. 
You go to one. And that's the game. Good game. Another game with ninjas. This hand is very keepable. We've got a little removal to get stuff out of the way for our ninjas. And we've got a flying dude that we want to bring back to our hand so we can play him later. Flying hasty dude at that. Okay, Delver, I don't want to see you. And you don't want to see me. Alright, so let's play Shivan Devastator. X equals 1. Smack ya. Yeah. Yeah. There's an argument that we could have played the Flame Blessed, or played Cemetery Geekkeeper getting rid of Flame Blessed Bolt. Uh, we will see if that is necessary. Reinforce Ronin. What will you do? They are going to consider. Yeah, Gatekeeper for the Flame Blessed Bolt would have been the better choice, actually. So, let's get in there. Um, let's not Ninjutsu. And then we'll play Gatekeeper, getting rid of Consider. Now they can bounce Gatekeeper if they would like, but it's going to cost them some life. Instead, they're thirsty. Understandable. Understandable. I am bringing the heat. Bringing the heat. You better be thirsty. And that's it. They give up. All right. Can't take the heat. Didn't even see the ninjas. They're too stealthy. Welcome back. Another standard gameplay video. With, uh... Hasty Ninjas. This hand is keepable. We've got early removal. We've got a Cemetery Gatekeeper to punish them for playing a lot of the same thing. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see how it goes. We also have a Biting Palm Ninja. He's gonna bite your palms off. Alright. We will pass. Chrome Martyr. Alright, Fable. Make a token. We will Lightning Strike. More mana efficient. We're not trying to exile that. There's a chance they have the uh, the Hasty Boy, Hujima Wajima. Uh, so. so we will uh, we'll play with that in mind. I kind of want to play Gatekeeper here. Uh, we don't know what kind of cards they're playing, though. But this will make it so if they do have instant removal, um, we can take care of that. And then I want to be able to ninjutsu next turn if we can, rather than just leaving Body Palm Ninja out there naked in the open. Ninjas hate that. Five things ninjas hate. Alright, what style of deck are you? Are you a sacrifice deck? Are you a control deck? Am I going to see Liliana? We will find out all of that in just moments. Chrome Martyr, you should be an artifact deck. The Martyr of Chrome. If only Karn was made of Chrome. Alright, taking a long time to decide what they're going to discard. Ooh, a vampire deck. I can get behind a vampire deck. But three color vampires, that's interesting. Let's see what they do. They make a vampire. We'll take the two damage. Get rid of Soren. And then we're going to have to take another two damage to get rid of this guy if we want to. Or we attack in and see if they block. If they do, we can flame blast Bolt. But then we're open to a 
Okay, they just scoop. All right, on to the next one. Red, black, ninjas. No black mana for our ninjas, but we do have three good red cards that I think this hand is capable with. So we will play that. Uh, we want to get in with our Ronin as much as possible. We don't know if they're going to have a turn one play that they're going to be able to block with. So let's get in as much chip damage as possible. And then we can play the chick next turn. Or we can double Ronin. Ronin, Ronin, Ronin. Keep the Ronin, Ronin. Going against Boaz with the blue deck. We've had a, a couple of weird games today where there's just been really early scoops. So I don't know if it's just something that people are not uh, ready to face. Uh, most of them have been when we play Cemetery Gatekeeper. So uh, it's been an interesting, interesting day. I'm expecting, okay, Counterspell. Uh, it resolves. I paid. I didn't mean to pay. I wanted to let it be countered, and then I was going to play Gatekeeper, but I got click happy. Okay, so we'll play Gatekeeper anyway. Get rid of that. And we'll play our Phoenix Chick. And we will not attack. Okay, that was uh, not the turn that I wanted. I would have liked to have them, they would have been down to 9 right now. So, make sure you're not just clicking like a madman, even if you're playing an aggro deck. Alright, can't handle the Cemetery Gatekeeper. I think that is the magical sauce right now. So, uh, let's go on to the next one and see if that is the case. Back at it with Red Black Hasty Ninjas. This hand is very keepable. We're gonna get our Ronin out first. Or no, let's get our, our chick out first. And then we can uh, ninjutsu next turn. If we play Ronin first, then we don't have a guy out there. Perfect. No blocks. I love it. I love seeing no blocks. Let's give me a uh, life, life link and death touch. Life Touch, Death Link. Angler 84, going against the old fisherman. I mean, he's in, he's in the marsh, shipwreck marsh, fishing up a storm. Um, okay, so we've got two. All right, they're gonna, they're gonna blow him up. He's blown up. All right, we will play a Phoenix Chick and pass the turn. Have our more resilient guys out there to face the removal. I'm hoping to draw a mountain or a red source of anything. So we'll play that. Play a reinforced Ronin. What you got, opponent? What do you got? They've got a spectral adversary. Okay, so that's gonna land and then we're going to flame bless bolt it get rid of it or do we let it block one of our guys and then prowler in the other one let's let it block and prowler in the other one all right boom uh I'd like my bigger guy to have the life like a death touch. Alright. Three mana for the opponent, three mana for us. They're playing instant speed shenanigans, duress. Okay, probably taking the lightning strike. Because that's the one that can go face, whereas Flame Blast Bolt cannot go face. I'm left with two. 
I'm guessing there's going to be a, a disappear of some sort. So let's go with Ronin first. See if they try to counter. Play a land. Play a chick. We don't have enough mana to bring back our other chick. But. Cathar Commando. Okay, so he's going to come in. He don't have enough mana to blow up my Nizumi Prowler. So we'll pay a life and blow him up. And get back our Ronin to hand. And pass the turn. Alright. Opponent down to five. We have enough that we can play this, bring back our guy. If they don't counter. And even if they do counter. Bounce spell? What do you have? What are you doing to me? Okay. So they're gonna exile the Prowler. We get in for three. I'm really wanting that burn spell back. The flame best blessed bolts over uh oh, there we go. Hasty ninjas putting in work today. Hasty ninjas looking like a good hand. Let's keep it. One of the cards I'm not too sure about is this Nashi Moon Sage Scion. Uh, just because the ninjutsu cost is four, but it is nice to be able to take something from our opponent or from ourselves um, and and cast it for for life instead of mana. Uh, though this deck really wants to be very fast. Gotta go fiest. All right, you see nothing. Move along, move along. Um, well, we can't play anything other than reinforce Ronin. So let's get in, pass the turn. See if they get a blocker out there. They do have a blocker. The underdog, he is tenacious. All right. So options, I believe we want to play Ronin, and then we'll play a post-combat Dakuchi Silencer, and keep the Devastator just in case, because they're going to block. Tenacious Underdog is the main reason for having a Flame Blessed Bolt. Alright, they block, we play the Silencer. Hoping they don't have a targeted discard to get rid of the Devastator, but I think that they're more likely to have removal for the Devastator, so it'd be nice to just play him for two mana and then ninjutsu something for two mana. And this way we still have something on the board and we got rid of their creature. Path of Peril. Alright. Ah, oh, we get an even better draw. Phoenix Chick. Swing, ninjutsu in our ambusher, bring back the phoenix chick, hit you for three, gain three. This is one of the, the better ninjas that I, uh, I did not think was all that great at first, but the fact that he can come down for two and just gain you a bunch of life is very impressive. The other one that gives your guy life link and, and death touch is also nice, but he doesn't retain the life link or the death touch. Um, let us play Shivan Devastator on two, and get in there. The Phoenix Chicks are nice, if we draw another land we'll be able to get the Biting Palm Ninja to, to do some work, uh, but this forces them to have uh, removal and then we don't overextend with having two of our Chicks out there and then being able to exile them. I'm sensing a board wipe. Destroy all two or less. Exiling him. You monster. You monster Baruma. 
I, uh, I have nothing still. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to go somewhere else with your duresses, my friend. So they have three things that they can play from the graveyard. This is only if one of their things dies. So let's Phoenix check. We happen to draw our Nozomi Prowler. So let's swing out. I was just talking about you, Prowler. The other cool thing is that the ninjas happen to be artifacts. Uh, well, this one and the other rat ninja. Um, so if that is something that goes in your deck building choices, uh, it's, a, it's a cool thing. I'm going to discard Nashi Moon Sage here. Update ready. Okay, we will have to restart after this game. Alright, player Phoenix chick. Attack with everything. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Yeah, I discarded the Moon Sage because it didn't seem like we are going to be able to play it at all this game. Uh, we'll see if we are. They get a blocker. They're going to be able to sacrifice him to the right, which they will do. That takes up their turn, and then if we, we just need to draw an untapped land, which should be all of our lands. Or we just draw a Phoenix Chick. Uh, I think this is the best course of action, because if they have another Duress and they fire it off, I'd rather be able to Lightning Strike whatever they play, or to not have to die. And yeah, they get, they get to gain a life anyway, so. This also plays around board wipes. We don't want to have them wiping away everything. And if they do, yep, there's the duress. So we lightning strike. Perfect. Calculated. Good game, Baruma. All right, so the deck seemed to do really, really well. Just hitting stuff fast and early. Things I would change, I might switch the Flame Blessed Bolts to being something that can go to the face instead, even though it's nice to get rid of something forever. Uh, a lot of times it felt like I wanted to just get a little more damage in. Uh, another thing is getting rid of Nashi Moon Sage's Scion. Oftentimes, four mana is just too much to spend in this deck, and also the way, the way that we're uh, dashing things in essentially you know, getting the Phoenix Chick or Reinforced Ronin, it would end up costing five or six mana on a turn to actually get this through. So it'd be better served as another one of the cheaper ninjas or even another removal spell. Um, but all in all, that was one of the fastest, uh, fastest runs up to five games I've ever done. Uh, if you liked it, uh, like it, and uh, thanks for watching.